After Heath lost his job, he and his wife Louise were living hand to mouth. The lowest point was when the couple had to go on food stamps. Well, then one morning, Louise discovered a scripture that took them from financial famine to abundant living. Heath and Louise Jarvis of Naples, Florida, have been married nearly 25 years and have seen their share of highs and lows. In 2008, Heath, an award-winning songwriter and worship leader, lost the job he loved. Basically, they had decided they wanted to go a different direction in their praise and worship. We had a very uh, amicable uh, departure. Um, they gave me a very nice severance and uh, I just figured, okay, well, that's fine. There's other jobs. I'll find another job really soon. Five years before, Louise had left her well-paying job as a chemical engineer to be a full-time mom for their two children. It was a commitment she didn't want to give up. I was going to be a stay-at-home mom. My mindset was I was going to homeschool my kids. I was going to be the one to put the meals on the table and, you know, be there for my kids every time they came in. Over the next few months, as Heath searched for a job, his severance and their savings were depleted. Then, the Great Recession of 2008 hit. Nobody was hiring. The lowest point for me was the day we went on food stamps. We were literally hand to mouth, paycheck to paycheck. It was really tough. We didn't know what we were going to do. One morning, while Louise was reading her daily devotional, the scripture passage, Genesis 26, caught her attention. Verse 1 says, there was a famine in the land. And I thought, that's us. We're in famine. It's a financial famine, but we're in famine. And I got down to verse 12, where Isaac sowed and he reaped a hundredfold the same year. And I thought, wow, we don't need just a little bit. We need a hundredfold. And she shows me her Bible. And Louise said, this is our answer. We need to give our way out. We decided, all right, we're going to take God at his word and we're going we're gonna to sow our way out of this. Malachi chapter three, it says, test me. And I thought, Lord, I'm going to test this. I'm going to let you prove to me that you are the provider that you say you are. We knew that we had to let go in order to plant seed for a greater harvest. They took what jobs they could find and faithfully tithed off anything they received. Any opportunity for income that came in, the first check we wrote was the tithe check. You know, the Bible says that for a tither, God will rebuke the devourer. We were determined we're going to keep our finances, our provision protected. They kept trusting God as Louise continued to track their finances. Within four months, the Jarvises saw their income grow by $10,000. And we thought, great, we need to look for another opportunity to sow. The Jarvises got off food stamps and continued to look for full-time work. Twice, they gave their first paychecks as offerings and saw a hundredfold return each time. In January of 2011, Louise's former employer offered her a two-month contract that she could work on remotely. And I thought, what a blessing. I can still be a homeschool mom, stay at home with my kids, and work from home. Louise was soon offered more contracts, and that wasn't all. We had sowed a seed of $2,040, and by the end of 2011, we had brought in $204,000. That job, which was supposed to last two or three months, she ended up working for nine years. Six years later, God called them both into full-time ministry. Heath now pastors Faith Life Worship Center. I love it. I, <laughs> I get the greatest joy uh, leading our church in worship and uh, delivering the Word of God to them uh, every week. He and Louise love sharing their experiences of God's faithfulness. Sow the seed, see the result. God's Word works every time. It always comes back to us, good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over. You've got to trust God. You've got to trust His Word. And if you just put His Word to work in your life, you're going to reap the same result. Put the principle into practice. And sometimes that's very hard. When I hear the story of Heath and Louise, I, I, I marvel the first paycheck. They said, we're going to give this first fruit. We're going to sow again. 
for many people, that would be really hard. And, and here they are saying, we want to do this cheerfully because we know the principle. When you put the principle into practice, we know it's going to work. And it's that principle that Jesus laid down that you can have 30, 60, 100-fold increases because you were careful to sow. And here they are looking for new opportunities to give. And then God always wants to give back. Here's the scripture that they used, and here's what they based it on. It's from Genesis 26, and the context is there's a famine in the land. Now, who goes out? What farmer goes out and sows in the middle of a famine? The reason there is a famine is there's no rain. But that's not what Isaac did. There was a famine in the land. Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. Well, Heath and Louise took that to heart and said, we're going to sow. It may seem like a famine. Uh, we may be unemployed. We may be looking for employment opportunities at home. We're looking, and in that process, we're going to sow. And when they sowed, they reaped. You just saw a miracle story of what God will do when you take him at his word, when his blessings will literally overtake you. That's the promise from Deuteronomy. It's not some kind of get rich quick thing. It's certainly not some heavenly slot machine. Uh, you put in a quarter and, and, and move the arm down and suddenly everything works. No, it's a lifetime commitment where you say, I'm going to follow God no matter what. I'm going to live life His way. When you do it His way, that's when the increase happens.